Hey everybody. I just want to do a real quick video showing what I've been doing to uh, recover this year two switchgrass stand. So I talked last year about how I had a, a terrible take on some of the switchgrass. I was trying to do a growing season planting where I um, I got low dormancy switch and I sprayed my cool season grasses or I sprayed the stand the year prior and sprayed that spring and burnt but my cool season grasses just took over the stand but with switchgrass you never give up after year one because year two that switchgrass can can really boom so here's a spot where you can see a little bit of switch over here but this way there was no it's not evident that any switch was growing right here and i started to look here as the established switch is germinating and i'm digging under the grass and right there you can see these switch grass clumps so i'll try to show that purple stem here that's how you can tell it's switch grass might be kind of tough to see in the video but that's a switch grass clump now look over here there's a clump right there there's a clump right there there's a clump right there so what i did to try to recover this stand is spray simazine a few weeks before green up and then these cool season grasses that you can see here that are dead i hit with roundup literally oh probably a week before the switch started germinating now that is a very gutsy step to take if you don't know what you're doing you shouldn't take that step because if your switch germinates you're going to kill it but i did round up here and i can see the switch grass coming there's another little strand of switch right there um so i think even though like i mean this should look like a decent stand of switch from last year you should see the switch standing about that high but it's not here but when i dig under this dead thatch um that's that's sitting there from my roundup treatment you know, roughly a month ago or so i can see the switch grass coming there are guys that will recommend not to even do that um, i think jeff sturgis i saw in a video he said don't even take that step and i think the reason they say that is just because it is a risky step if you don't know how to identify switch grass and know when switch grass germinates in the spring there's a great risk you're going to kill your switch grass but to me um i felt I felt I was in uh, a good window to get that cool season grass killed with the Roundup where the switch hadn't germinated yet. And I've been studying this stuff for quite a few years and growing it for a few years. And so I felt like I could take the risk. And so far, just checking this stand, it's paying off because I'm getting clumps of switch coming back underneath here where there was no switch. I mean, I'm sure this maybe grew a little bit last year but it was very much repressed by the weeds now that i got the cool season grass killed and the uh the seed bed released the switch grass is starting to come so this is going to be a very cool area and this is that old field that i've been working on you can see some strips that i missed with the roundup which is a little frustrating i was having some spray issues that day so you can take care of that next spring but for the most part, I got a really good kill in here at the Roundup. And the switchgrass is coming. So, oh, there's another nice green strip that I missed with the Roundup. But yeah, that's how I'm trying to salvage this year two stand here that looked terrible last year. But I will follow up in August. And I'm, I've got a lot of confidence that this is going to look awesome this year. So, Simazine. Roundup before the switch germinated. Soil temps were under 50 degrees or right around a little less than 50 when I sprayed. And I went for it and literally about a week later the switch started popping. The Roundup did not hit it. Alright, you all take care. God bless.